Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you the new and improved Salesforce Certified Administrator exam breakdown that I've designed. I used an old version of this to study and pass my admin exam, and I've used this format to study and pass each of my Salesforce certifications. It helped me massively, and I believe it's going to help you massively in your studies to become a Salesforce Certified Administrator. This spreadsheet is part of my Udemy course, and if you enroll in my Udemy course, you will get a copy of this. However, if you do want to build it out yourself rather than enrolling in the course, I'll explain each tab and how you can build it so you've got a reference point as well. So as you can see, there are three tabs. We have the overview tab, the sections and objectives tab, and finally, we have the checklist tab, or as some people have come to call it, the cheat sheet. The overview tab contains an overview of the exam, such as the number of questions, the pass rate and the section weighting. The sections and objectives tab contains a deeper breakdown of the sections and what each objective is looking for, such as company settings, user interface and user maintenance. The checklist tab lists the concepts and features that you need to know to pass the exam. All the information in this sheet is taken from the Salesforce Certified Administrator Guide and I've expanded on it to give us a deeper insight into what's required to become an awesome admin and to pass the exam. Now I do want to mention here that this is based purely on my experience and opinion, no one else's. It's based on the latest exam guide as of June 2022 and as such is subject to change. Let's talk about the first tab, the overview tab. I've taken all of the information here from the exam guide that you can get for the Salesforce Certified Administrator exam. You can find it on Trailhead and if you look through it you'll see that it gives you a breakdown about the exam and then it also gives you a breakdown of each section and each objective as well. So we'll just scroll back up and we'll just focus on this about the exam part. We'll head back into our sheet and I'll just explain to you how I've used that information. The overview tab contains key information about the exam, such as the number of questions, the passing percentage, and the number of correct questions required to pass the exam. I've also created a table which details each section, the weighting, and the number of questions we can expect for that section. And that's based on the percentage of the number of questions that we're going to face. I've also included a mock scores column, as well as a confidence column, so that you can track your progress and confidence for each section. I've configured these columns with conditional formatting, so we can see that if we change the mock scores or the confidence, the color of the cells are going to change. So at 55, it will be red. At 75, it will be green. And then at 65, it would be amber. For the confidence, if we were to set that as low, it's red, medium is amber, and then high is green. The reason that I've done this is just to give us a quick and easy way to see how we are doing. I've then totaled all of the mock scores underneath, so I've averaged them out, and I've also included a mock exam section, which allows you to record any mock exams that you take, the date, the result, and most importantly, the concepts that you've encountered that you feel you need to revise. Next, we have the sections and objectives tab. I've gathered all the information here from the exam outline part of the exam guide. If we scroll down here and we open up one of the sections here, you'll be able to see that we're given the objectives for that section as well. If we head back to the spreadsheet, you'll see that I've taken the section and I've then taken the objective and put that underneath. Then what I've also done is look at the objective and break it down into the key concepts or features that we can expect to face. I've included a confidence column as well, so again, we can record how we're feeling about each objective. And then I've also included a column about the concepts that we're unsure of. So that will just allow us to record any concepts that we're a little bit unsure of that we need to revise in greater detail. Then finally, we have the checklist, aka the cheat sheet as some people call it. Now this is the tab that took the longest to design and create and as you can see it builds on the information that we've gathered in our previous two tabs. We have the section, the weighting and the number of questions we can expect for that section. Then we have a breakdown of each concept and feature for that section. We have a checkbox that we could check once we've actually built and configured this in a dev org and then we also have another checkbox just to indicate that we understand the concept. Finally we have one last column which then just helps us detail how confident we're feeling about each concept. So again, this is just going to allow us to have a quick and easy overview of where it is we need to focus our studies. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see that there's a huge number of concepts and features that we need to know and need to understand to become a great admin and to pass the exam. 
So this checklist is going to help you massively in your studies. You can identify each concept and feature that you need to know. You could track if you've built it in your dev org, record if you understand it, and then you can set how confident you are about it. It's a great resource to refer back to. As you've probably noticed, there are more concepts and features on this tab than there was on the sections and objectives tab. And that is just because I've used Salesforce help to break this information down further to give us more detailed account of exactly what we need to know. So if you want to do this yourself, you can head into Salesforce help and then just type in what it is you're looking for. So for example, company information. And that will just take you through to a page where it will show you all the relevant information. I hope that you found this video useful and the complete spreadsheet for this is part of the Salesforce Certified Administrator course that I've published on Udemy. There is a link in the description of this video that you can use to get a discounted price. Thank you for watching and good luck with your studies.